Hi everyone, it's been a really long time. I think it's been almost like two months since I uploaded a video. I've been wanting to upload more videos, but um, every time I started working on one for the past like month and a half, like things, problems keep coming into the editing process basically. There was one of the things I'm working on, like it's something new to me, so it's just taking a really long time to get done. And the I started working on something this week and a problem it's just it's so frustrating i i recorded all, all the voiceovers and then all of them except for one clip gave me a super deep voice and i was just so frustrated like listening to it so i i have to re-record it but i don't have time because i'm about to go on a trip tomorrow so i will have to do that another time when i get back to korea but yeah i feel like this summer just went by so quickly it felt like it was so long while it was happening but now it just feels like it was gone without it before it even happened I feel I feel like I had a pretty hard time even though I didn't have any like major problems happening like I had a good I've been having a really good time at work my work life has been really good there's not really anything that crazy that's been happening in my personal life but I've just been feeling really like hmm I feel like I've been kind of like lost at sea like I'm just like in a boat just like rowing and just trying to get somewhere but no land is in sight something like that and it's not it's not the feeling like when you're unsure what you're going to do in your life because that's I think that's normal and I've been feeling that since I was in like high school or something and that's it's a, that's a kind of different feeling because I've always been like unsure about what I'm gonna do in my life, but I think this feeling is different. I feel like I'm kind of like just feeling out of place, and I guess that's normal because I'm living abroad and I'm a foreigner here, so I'm not I don't fit in obviously. And I guess I guess for me like it's not as hard as it is for other foreigners, but I still kind of get this feeling that I'm an outsider and you know it's not this isn't always a an issue because I I don't really experience racism or anything that bad in Korea but I still I still get this feeling and it was it was quite hard during the summer I don't even know like what made this start but I just kind of felt like I wasn't I wasn't sure what I was even doing anymore and I've, I lost a lot of passion for pretty much everything I do in my life. Like I, I lost my passion for like making videos and drawing and meeting people, I guess. And what else? Exercising, like pretty much everything. I just didn't really do much of anything. And I can't, I've always just been feeling guilty about it. And that guilt is kind of like constantly eating at me. I feel like I have this internal struggle happening inside of me the whole time while I'm just kind of trying to trying to just be normal but inside there's like a vague a vague thing like happening inside of me like it's not like a clear problem where I know like this is a problem and I need to deal with it I just feel like something I feel a bit uneasy inside and I'm not sure exactly what's happening and that's why I feel like that that metaphor of being at sea lost at sea is like kind of like how I feel because I feel like I have this problem but I'm just like not sure about where to go and what it is and all that kind of stuff and I feel like this is kind of normal like I do have these seasons while I'm abroad that I'm kind of like I'm just I'm fine and I'm happy and everything's well and then there's times where I'm having like this kind of like weird vague problem that I don't even understand myself and I just kind of feel kind of not myself I, I don't I, I hate feeling like this because it's just so it's just so hard to pinpoint what it is and what I can even do and so most of the time, like until until recently, I didn't even I didn't even realize that I had this issue. And now that I'm kind of looking back onto my summer, I I realize like what kind of happened to me, and I feel really like I feel really sad that I lived the past couple of months this way because it's it wasn't very pleasant. Even though I didn't feel like it was at the time, looking back on it, I can tell that it really wasn't. Another thing that's been kind of hard for me is that it's been it's been quite lonely these days in Korea 
it's it's a normal thing that happens when you live abroad you're not always going to have people around you like for me what made what made it hard is that i I used to have friends in the city that I used to live in, but because I moved away, I'm in a new city and I barely have any friends in the city I'm living in. And I am like very close to Seoul right now. And I have some friends in Seoul, but uh, you know, as expected, people in Seoul are very busy. So even though I do have friends there, it's very rare that I can even meet them. So I think I did spend way too much time alone. I've been going, I've been trying to go to events and be a part of things. So that I can um, not be so isolated all the time, but I think it's the lack of those um, those deep connections with people that's been kind of making me feel a bit disconnected. Yeah, <laughs> even though I'm still technically connected through the internet and I'm still involved in a lot of stuff, I don't feel like I'm truly connected with anyone, and I feel like yeah, that's kind of like like kind of leaving a hole inside of me. And I think honestly, the only thing that's really keeping me sane is the fact that I go to church every Sunday. I I get like quite a good amount of social interaction, and it's kind of like a refreshing time for me. So that's really the only thing that's like keeping me sane <laughs> during all this. I'm, I'm I feel like I'm just really not good at dealing with with like stress. I guess I feel like I'm just falling under, just collapsing under the pressure or something. But it's not even anything that. Physically or emotionally huge. It's just I, f I guess it's like a lot of Stuff that's under the surface and like because there's so much of it It's kind of like starting to come up, but I'm I haven't been noticing it until like very recently. So Yeah, I guess that's That's what I'm gonna have to kind of work on dealing with and I've you know I've experienced this many times throughout my life and especially because I've been living in Korea for the past couple of years I've had quite a few experiences with this, so I will I will get over it. I'm unfortunately I'm used to it. <laughs> it it happens, especially when you live abroad. You're you're not always gonna be in your like up moments. It's really like a roller coaster. We have ups and downs. It will it's gonna always happen, and I'm pretty used to it happening. So i'm i think like the first step is just to realize that it's happening so now that like i'm kind of aware i think i'm going in the right direction to like overcome this kind of slump i guess but yeah tomorrow i'm going to be going on a trip to hong kong so that's exciting hopefully i can you know spend a good time like refreshing myself mentally and emotionally and stuff and hopefully i can kind of like bring back my passion again I'm, I decided not to record or anything, so I'm thinking to just not bring my camera at all and just really take in the trip and not make a video about it or even take pictures. Oh, I might take pictures on my phone, but like not on my camera or anything. So I'm really thinking to do something like that. But yeah, it's been a really long time and I've been really wanting to make videos again. So I thought I should at least upload something before I go on my trip. So I thought I'll just do a update video before I leave something lot quicker and easier because I still need to pack. I haven't packed a single thing yet and it's like almost 10 p.m. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, like I just haven't been feeling like myself and I really want to go back to being me, but I don't feel like I am close to close to being myself again. During my trip, I really want to spend that time really reflecting a lot and um, also enjoying myself. But also like not, I don't want to spend too much time like thinking about serious things and things that are like concerns in my life, but really just spend the time just for myself and hopefully I can come back a lot more refreshed and a bit more myself. So that's what I'm hoping for. If you're watching until now, thank you so much for watching and kind of like putting up with my kind of rambling because I, I didn't script this, I've just been kind of talking off the, off the top of my head and I feel like my thoughts are all over the place, there's so much I want to say, so much stuff that I said that I probably didn't really want to say, like I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff out of this. So yeah, thank you so much for putting up with all this and I'll see you again in the next video, bye bye! <laughs>